I did my basic courses in Germany as well as my PhD. Um, the courses I, I took were a diploma in biophysics, so a diploma is like a master thesis after five years of university. And um, I did that at the Humboldt University in Berlin. When I continued on working with Ulrich Kubitschek and Rainer Peters, who are, especially Rainer Peters did a very good work through the last 40 years in the nuclear transport field. And got my PhD from um, Ludwig Maximilian University in Munich, which is one of these new German excellence cluster universities. And um, from there I continued to Einstein. The administration here really made it easy to come. So for a US citizen, that's not a big point, but for overseas people, that's really nice. So the way they helped us with the visa, the way they organized our coming here, the way we could stay immediately, that was really superb. It made it easy. The basic question behind what I'm doing is, how do you um, observe the interaction between two single entities in a cell. And, and that's complicated because normally there's not only a single copy and there's not only one interaction partner. So um, how, how do you tweak a system that you have a chance to observe protein number A with RNA number B and not with C and D? And, and to, to um, deal with this kind of biology is very demanding. And on the other hand, building detection systems that see this little signal it's uh, really at the border of what we can do. There is some application that, if, if we're really good, come to that would be screening. So what kind of modulation do you have to do to keep certain RNAs contained within the nucleus? Is there a way to regulate this transport process as a um, result to drugs? And um, that, that would be a very powerful screening assay for, for pharmaceutical technology. We do have students in the lab, although we are believed to be a postdoc lab, which um, means we have a good student to postdoc ratio with having one student per postdoc max. And from, from my PhD time, I have to say that's, that's good because you you don't have to invent too many things on your own. There is support that you can go to. The time I worked in Germany, I, I already mentored students. And I like, I like the kind of engagement I, fi I find here. Students are motivated and very knowledgeable. Um, if you look for a postdoc position, looking for good science is what you want to do. And when I looked into the place and found that they have uh, set up a new imaging center with a focus on combining high-end biologic questions with microscope development. So I thought that, that might be a fit. And when I looked for other places and visited some of them and just compared the atmosphere that, that I had during my talk, how the colleagues were in, um, my, my first supervisor from Berlin, she, she worked in Boston for quite a, a while of her postdoc, and she, she told me, you know, Einstein's has a good reputation for teamwork for being a place where doors are open. And I know how you work, you like it. So I've, after I compared my experiences with Rockefeller or Columbia and Einstein's, I thought, okay, I like, I like the atmosphere.